Hey guys, it's Mark. So I just wanted to come here and do a sit down video because I have some new music coming out. The song is called Down Low and it comes out on January 25th. Again, Down Low comes out on January 25th on all streaming platforms. And I'm really excited about this and just about everything going on in my life, you know, college and growing up. <laughs> and this song means so much to me. I wrote it a little bit over a year ago, trying to capture this feeling of what it was like to do something scandalous in public, which sort of happened, but that's another story. And um, writing this song, I sort of let loose a little bit and became a version of me that I don't let out very often. And I had no filters writing it. So in the end, what happened is I created this song that is just very empowering to me. And I hope that it empowers you to just let loose and make choices that are risky but worth it because spending your life filled with regret is not is, is not the tea um, because you know I I've always stood up for people who choose to live their lives scandalously and People are always going to talk shit about you no matter what you do. We're all victims of talking shit about people. And I honestly feel that during the moments of time when you are a victim of being talked shit about and you've been made aware or you suspect that people are gossiping about you, you should revel in it because people are taking time out of their day to talk shit about you and tear you down. And they're spending their time doing that instead of living their own life. So that makes you the center of their world for the time being. And I think that is the biggest compliment anyone could ever give a person. So with this song down low, I just wanted to make a song so that the people that listen to my music could be empowered and take all the negativity and revel in it. Because you know what? It is the most negative people that are most talked about, most remembered, and leave the biggest impact on the world. And some of the people who have a bad reputation are very good people, but are misunderstood. And some of them are just assholes. So, you know, you can choose, you, yeah, you can choose which, which one you want to be, but <laughs> we all in a way have a bad reputation. And that's why People are attracted to that kind of music. And apart from that, college has been a really cool experience because Berkeley College of Music is a place where all of these <laughs> artists who love many different types of music and play the weirdest instruments ever created are <laughs> thrown together and it's just really cool because as an artist, you can feel very isolated because you have your friends and family members pressuring you to go after career routes that are more convenient or have better end results, statistically speaking. And to be in a place where we're all so creative and we all have that anxiety of where do we go from here? And in the end, it's just this very positive place of 
collaboration, which I really love. And I hope to take advantage of that more this semester because I'm just watching people stepping out of their comfort zones and creating stuff that's just really cool or really cool to them. I'm not going to gen generalize. It's a really beautiful thing. And I've been doing some stuff there, which I think is really cool. And I think if you're a songwriter, I would, you know, I've only been there one semester, but I would say that there's a lot of opportunities at Berkeley for songwriters. There's an open mic night the last Monday of every month where 20 songwriters sign up and play their songs and it's really fun and you get to sort of see everyone's styles and what they're passionate about and the lyrics of some of the songs are really cool and some people have really cool melodies. And for me, that's been a great way of broadening my horizons. <laughs> also the songwriting club, which is a similar thing where uh, people play their songs and then get feedback. That has been a place where I've gotten to grow a lot because it's face to face and people often don't take you seriously when you say you're a singer songwriter, but in a room with people who have similar career goals as you, it is very encouraging and it just encourages you to do better. And it's not overwhelming at all because I feel like people are each in their own lane and I don't feel threatened in any way like people say the music business is very very competitive and to get a job or to get a record deal or something like that there it is very competitive but no one is stopping you from making music and putting yourself out there and so for that I feel like being an artist is one of the the easiest ways to get a product and really express yourself. And I don't know, it's just been a really great time and I've gotten to work with some songwriters and some producers and the song that, <laughs> that I co-wrote may or may not see the light of day because if it were me, I would record it and find a producer and release it uh, in a month. But it's not up to me, but hopefully we can finish it. And the other two songs that I made last semester are gonna come out soon after Down Low, which again is coming out on January 25th. And I'm just, really excited for what's ahead. I know college is a very weird time in a person's life when they're sort of half free of their childhood and half not, but I just want to keep working and making music and my goal is to release my album before I turn 20 and that may or may not happen, but I just want to make more music and having fun and the first step to doing that is releasing this song on January 25th and I want to make another sit down video talking about representation and the pros and cons about the way that we are dealing with that topic. That is something that's really close to my heart. So if you guys want to see that, I would totally be down to making a video about that. So yeah, don't forget to check out Down Low. I'm releasing three songs in the next two months. And then I really hope to just keep growing and keep doing covers and 
having fun because life is nothing without fun and fun can be being depressed fun can be being sick you can have fun no matter what your circumstances are and again that is what my new song is all about taking the bad and turning it into the good <laughs> and thank you for watching this video and for supporting this channel it means the world to me this channel is one of my favorite things to do and I hope to always make videos because it's what I love. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.